your host today for what you can do with hot glue. Ba bam Alright, has anybody ever been really cold? You don't want to carry a blanket, right? Yeah. Right. Yeah. Well, this is what we're going to do to help you, you, and you, and all of you guys. Now, alright, let's turn up the heat because it's a little chilly in here, like I said. Alright, he said, oh what? Oh no! Your mind is flying out the door! Well, I do that when you can use a wrap. Not a blanket, a wrap. Just like this one. What you do is it can be any size or length. However, depending on what you want, I like really short ones to keep yourself warm. And, um, but there's one little problem. It's plain. You don't, you don't want to go out in public and wear this, right? Right. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. That is right. And, um, so today I'm going to show you, oh man, my nose is itching. Today I'm going to show you what you can do with hot glue. So, this is my basic, uh, what you use is, um, I'm going to show you some of the materials and supplies you need. So, um, this is your basic fabric, scrap fabric, anywhere, you know, just in the house, laying around. And, um, I'm going to go ahead and lay it on the floor, right here. And we're going to get my miniature table out. Alright, now these are my supplies. It doesn't matter which ones you need to use, but these are probably the best. I have here, um... Let me come over here. We have puppy ball. Uh, they're really easy to put together, but watch out for the mess. All right, they're really fun. The best product. We got feathers. Now we got these shiny buttons that are made out of plastic. Um, they're colorful. They're shiny. They're really cool. Um, it doesn't matter what kind you guys want to use. Um, these are just the basic kinds that you should probably use first. Um, what is if like? These are common household appliances you can find anywhere, just in the kids' room, laying around, right? Right. Yeah, right. yeah, yeah, that's what I'm talking about. So, um, and if you can't, if you don't have this, just go to the dollar store. They have tons of these. Oh, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Feathers are really fun. Um, like, you know, it's just really fun. And, like, like I said, you can get them at the dollar store. You can also go to Target in the dollar area, leave me in there and I will go shopping like crazy. I'll have a cart full in less than 10 minutes. I love all this art stuff. So instead of going and um, hot gluing your stuff, well, I'm going to go ahead and show you what you need. You need scissors, decorations, and a hot glue gun. That's it. B very basic and a piece of fabric that's very basic. All right. And um, make sure you always wear something to protect you, like a bib or a, um, a apron. That's very nice when you do artwork so you don't get glue or uh, any crafts on you. And it doesn't ruin your clothes, like permanent markers or something. And um, I made this with hot glue, as you can see. So uh, maybe in another episode I can show you how to make one. That'd be fun, right? Right. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so um, before you go ahead and glue your um, item here, uh, your uh, piece of fabric, your wrap, you want to lay out the design first. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and lay mine on the floor. Can you guys see that? Mm-hmm. All right. Yeah. All right. So I love feathers. I always have and I always will, I think, you know. Well, you can do initial, like your first name. Like my name's McKenzie, so I would do an M or K. And uh, like when you put it around your back, wouldn't that be cool if it was like glittering and stuff like that? Well, um, since of my supplies, I get I chose these. These are my top favorite three. You don't want to use a lot, otherwise it'll look over decorated, you know. But that's always good too, you know. Like this one's plain, but it looks really nice. Um, so we're just you can do. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and like uh, do a peace line for uh, the Earth. Help save the Earth on uh, Earth Day. That's April third. Um, so as I'm going ahead and doing this. Uh, make sure you're getting all your supplies ready, or um, and it's really fun for um, for birthday parties. The kids love it, and it doesn't have to be a wrap. It can be a little blanket, like a little quilt, and you they can. Uh, this is what I did. I um, you can take a six and a half by six and a half inch square, and what you do is you can. Um, what you can do is you uh, you get your square. You write your name, and then you can do a pledge. Like, well, it doesn't have to be a pledge. It can be something cool, something fun, and uh, you can do it with class. This is really fun at school to do. What you do is you take it, and um, you can. 
It's really fun. You write your name, you write a pledge, you decorate it, and then you sew them all together into a giant quilt. It's really fun. The kids love it. You can do it all the time, and it's a really easy project. Is well, if you have a sewing machine, <laughs> as I've been told. Um, I did it. It was fun, and um, it it was great. It was really fun. Um, as you can see, this is the <laughs> peace sign. I'm gonna go ahead and just uh, put the uh, things here and. Um, Look at this sparkling. I'm gonna show you what we got here. This this is my favorite color, the pink and the purple. I'm gonna like just go ahead and put dot. Or actually, I'm gonna do it like just all around. It'd be so cool. Like you can just spread them all out. And uh, the the reason why it's really important um, to make sure you uh, don't uh, you don't. Go ahead and just glue your stuff. Is that you have an idea of what you want, so you don't ruin your design and you wasted the fabric. And if you do, somebody might like it. If you're doing it with like a class project or something like that, it's really helpful to do that. And as you can see, I'm like kind of doing a pattern here. Um, I'm doing like big ones and then small ones. And you can do. It doesn't have to be a pattern. You can do whatever you want. So as I'm getting this ready. You guys can go ahead and do it, and if you're in the audience, hi audience! Hi! Yeah, alright, glad to have you guys here today. Um, anyways, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and do this. Alright, I'm done. You can add as many as you want. Um, I'm just going to add a little bit more. I'm going to add some of the sparkly buttons I was talking about earlier, because I think they're really cool. And you can get these anywhere. I, I just found this, you know. Well, like I said, common household appliance, you know. The bigger the better. I mean, I mean, it's small, but it's got a lot in here. I mean, now, like, uh, I'm gonna put, like, some. I'm gonna fill that. That would be very cool. Like, you uh, fill the peace sign with the same color, and then you can do the. You know, you don't have to do this. Is what I'm saying. I'm just showing you this little thing. You know, just some fun ideas, and um, I'm gonna tell you a little bit of fun facts. Um, Albert Einstein loved, loved doing art. Like I said. Loved it. He was all over it. He loved it. He was, that's how he became a scientist, was he was making an art project one day and decided to put it, and he was making a big, he was just taking cardboard because he wasn't, he wasn't very rich, and um, he was just taking cardboard and he was uh, creating all this stuff, and he cre created the science board when you have a science project. So what you do is you just go ahead and do that. And so what he did was, I, I, he's an inspir inspiration to me. He really is, all, all the way. Um, but as I was saying, he made this really nice art project, and all of a sudden he thought, I love science, and wait a second, I'm good at science, and I love it, you know? So he decided to make a science project with his project. So this is my design, and I'm just going to go ahead and... Uh, like, I'm going to go glue this, but while you do this, um, go ahead and be free. I'll tell you some more fun facts. Wouldn't that be great, guys? Yeah. Sure. Yeah. Uh, yeah. All oh, right. Yeah. So um, what I'm going to do is you always want to make sure you don't leave a mess open because uh, these little tiny, the uh, little foofies, they, those can get swallowed. That's not very good. You can pick up the buttons. Um, it's very fun. Um, how are you doing, camera guy? Emma lady. Great. Good? Good show. All right. All right. So I am going to go ahead and glue all this right now. Okay. So what you do is you fold it in half. And I'm going to go ahead and go glue it. All right? Do you want me to bring the camera? Sure. All right. So you can video. Place it on yourself. Oh, yeah. All right. Thank you. Give, you know what? Give the... Uh, the uh, camera person a really big applause. Go ahead and give her an applause. Yeah! Woo! Look at that. Don't be shy. You own the camera. Yeah! Thank you to our audience. You guys have been a great audience. I'm just going to go ahead and um, I'm going to do my uh, hot gluing. But uh, let me see. Does that look good? Hmm, if it does, I hope, Brian. You know? Um, silence of the audience, please. Um.